What's happening, people? Today we have a, actually a very intense Wi-Fi battle. It gets our good friend Clay. Well, this isn't his real name. I can't tell you his actual Twitch name either. But uh, I guess we're just fa facing this opponent off my stream. I do stream on Twitch, so go ahead and check me out there. Uh, we have great times. I give away legendary Pokemon and competitive Pokemon. I can even build teams. Uh, you just guys have to meet me on my streams and show up by following me. Or just uh, make sure you put on notifications on your YouTube channel so that way, I mean, on your YouTube thing uh, on my channel. Okay, just put notifications on my channel. <laughs> So when I upload a video or a stream, you'll be notified on uh, when I'm, you know, streaming. <laughs> so, anyways, onto this battle. We're not gonna stall out time. We're just gonna get to the point. I'm using my Mega Bennett and Mimikyu team. This team is really cool. I love it. I tried doing my very best on it and making it really work. Uh, Claytis here has a pretty intense team with this rain team. Uh, it looks pretty intimidating. I have seen this team over over again. It's the same core always. Pelipper, Swampert, Tornadus, and Volcanion, and Ferrothorn. It's always these four Pokemon. And the last thing can be just filler, it can be a Kindred, Manaphy, anything you want. It's, this team is really annoying. I don't understand how Volcanion really works in Rain entirely because, you know, it's one of its stabs can't work. If anything, I think, like, any other Wire Absorber user that has great special attack is better than Volcanion. I don't know what's actually, you know what? Volcanion's special attack is enormous. It's probably the strongest Wire type Pokemon. Um, I believe. It is, like, it's the strongest special attacking Wire type Pokemon, I believe. <laughs> so I think that's why people use it. I don't know much about the metagame in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon as of OU wise because I have, haven't been playing the game too much. I've only been back into the game for about a month. So, I'm getting into it. We are gonna fight our opponent here. Oops. This is, uh, What in the world? I don't know what that was. But anyways, yes, we are going to face our opponent here. Play this. So, I'm going to leave off with my awesomeness and powerfulest Pokemon. I'm just kidding. I'm going to leave off with my, um, Greninja. Because I know he's gonna leave off with Pelipper. And whatever he switches into is not going to enjoy a Hydro Pump entirely. Because I believe I was holding a Life Orb on this uh, Greninja at this time. But anyways, I am going to go straight for the Hydro Pump. Um, I do have HP Fire on this Greninja. For purposes like this. Ferrothorn. But that's but actually, the truth is, I'm not even going to go for Hydro Pump. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. Because that is neutral and it will hit this Ferrothorn neutrally instead of being resisted. I'm not sure if Hydro Pump would have been stronger. Based on this damage, I'm guessing it went uh, re because you know resistant moves are twice as uh, weaker as they originally would be, and so even though the rain, and, you know, is stronger than ice beam, it still wouldn't be and have enough power. Anyways, I am gonna go for the HP fire on this uh, Ferrothorn to put some damage on it uh, because it is specially defensive. I know I can't really put much work against it. Um, it has to be specially defensive. Even if I were Life Orb, this these ice beams. And HP fires are doing absolutely crap <laughs> because um, if I, it, it just wouldn't matter if of our life or not. But anyways, he is going to switch out uh, into a swamp bird. Now the truth is, I didn't really predict this. I think I just clicked it, um, him by fire again because I did not want him. I don't know. That's actually a misplay on my part. I feel like he was going to leash seed again because it's very obvious I was going to. It was actually foolish of me to stay in like this, though, in case this potentially did happen. Because you have no idea. He may have Protect. He may just want to set up Stealth Rocks. He he had better options than either Protecting or staying in doing something silly. And I should have not allowed him to potentially get off a Gyro Ball on me, either. Because uh, I need my Greninja and I get him out of health. But anyways, I am going to switch in directly to my Lyos against the Swamp Birds. Um, with the rain up, I am faster than this Swamp Bird, regardless. Um, because I am Choice Scarf. But unfortunately, he has Substitute of all things that happen on Swamp Bird. Because he has Substitute, I am going to go be forced to go for Psychic instead of going straight for the Draco Mirror. Uh, I guess the same, because I really want to go for Draco and just um, put maximum damage on this thing. But I am going to go for the Psychic, but unfortunately, I am going to get Frozen. And because of that, he is he can gladly do whatever he wants. He is going to switch back into his Ferrothorn right here, taking full advantage of this. 
I have been getting hacks a lot in my streams. It is very, very annoying. Because I've been up against people hitting fire blasts 24-7s and I lost an entire battle to it. Um, <laughs> it was a Volcano on a rain team. He didn't get up to the rain yet and he was just fire blasting my trick room team. It was a long story. Because of luck, luck and stuff like that, I just lost that battle. He hit all eight fire blasts in a row, not missing a single one. And I got completely swept with my trick room team. And secondly, I bow him again, I missed the fire blast in my first turn, and I lost a Pokemon. I lost three Pokemon that game. I swear. Anyways, long story. <laughs> long story. Anyways, I am going to go for the Psychic. Unfortunately, I'm frozen. I'm going to have to switch out into my Mega Finette now against this damn thing and burn it. That way, I can negate its leftovers, and that way, my Greninja can have a better time in doing work against this team. I know he still has that Volcanion, but I'm not too worried about it. He is going to go for straight for the Leech Seed, though, and that is going to be very annoying. But uh, unfortunately for him, the rain is gone. What I could do here right now is actually switch into my Greninja and scare him out with the potential him power fire. But knowing he would switch out, I can go for Hydro Pump on his potential switch into Pelipper. Maybe Ice Beam would be better, but I think Hydro Pump will be strong. I don't know. I don't entirely know. But anyways, I am going to switch into my Greninja now. Because I can hit this thing with HP fire. If anything, he's going to go for Stealth Rocks. I mean, Spikes, if he has it. And what she is gonna do. Unfortunately, my Lyos is, is frozen, so I cannot defog this crap away, and I will potentially most likely lose this game if this keeps up. Uh, right now, he is. His leftovers aren't negated. He won't get back in much health anymore. I can kill him right here with the HP fire. But. So, and because I know that, I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam, but unfortunately, he is going to stay in, knowing full well I would not go for the move. That's. I don't know. He played it safe up until this point, but now he's just doing this. And I just don't get it. Um, it's, I hate situations like this where my opponent does something safe the first time, and then the second time when he has the opportunity of doing it, just, you know, an average safe move. He has no. There's no. Um, I don't know. It's just. This Ferrothorn does a lot of things to my team. It stops my Mimikyu. It does a lot of things. So I don't understand why we risk that at all. Because my Mimikyu can shit on his team. It really can. I can just set up on his, um... I'm probably on Tornadus, or... Not Tornadus, but... I don't know, something. But anyways, he is now going to switch into his power, into my HP fire. Now I'm looking in a... I'm in a very bad bad position. He is now he's... He's starting to get into my head. <laughs> he made, obviously... He knew I was going to predict his, uh... Pelipper switch in right there, so he stayed in with his Ferrothorn. And now what he's going to do is switch into his power. Now on my HP fire. He got me right there, he definitely predicted me, that's annoying, but uh, he got me, and now he, what he's going to do is U-turn, predicting me to switch out. Great move on his part, I am i don't know what to really do with him. This game is very, um, actually staying in with that Pelipper against my Greninja was also risky, because getting damage on that thing just essentially means something gets wrecked. But right here, he is going to switch into his Volcano, well, not gets wrecked, I mean like, staying with a Pelipper against a special attacker, isn't wise unless your Pelipper is specially defensive. I doubt his Pelipper is truly specially defensive. He's just, it's, it's not rare. I mean, it's not common. But, anyways, he is going to um, switch it to as well. Canyon against my um, Magirnet. I know I can just go for, straight for the full switch and he won't be able to do, do too much against me. But, right here, I'm going to go straight for the fog. As he is going to switch into his Jirachi. But, unfortunately, like I said, I am frozen. There's not much I can do. If I do not defraud these rocks away and these spikes, I will just straight up lose this game. Because it would just be a matter of time before I lose. Everything just gets wrecked, honestly. But luckily, thank God Almighty, I am going to defog away these rocks. And because of that, I am now in a safe position in this game to do some real work. Because now I, I'm not um, I'm not hindered on switching in and out and stuff. So what I'm going to do here is switch into my Benet. He is locked into Ice Punch if he is Choice Scarf. Uh, I'm betting he is Choice Scarf, so what I'm going to do now is go for the Shadow Claw, most likely. As he's going to switch into his um, Tornadus. This thing could definitely take a hit, because I don't have self Rocks up. If I did have self Rocks up, this would be an Oko, plus a uh, Shadow Sting combination. But the truth is, Mega Benet is just this strong, because I don't, I don't even need my Stealth Rocks. So Shadow Claw and Shadow Snake combination are more than enough to kill this thing, which is awesome. I was thinking, that's actually why I have... Um, 
Shadow Sneak on my Mega Manette over whatchamacallit, um That's why I have Shadow Claw. No 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 Shadow Sneak over Sucker Punch because Shadow Sneak what if he taunted or something like that, predicting a destiny bomb for this tornado. I don't know what he could have done. But anyways, it's just good all around that that just happened. I was able to kill that tornado easily. And now what I'm actually going to do is make a misplay. I made a misplay. I have no idea why I did not just go for the Destiny Bomb with my Mega Bonnet. Because right here he is indeed going to... Uh, I know for a fact he's Choice Specs. He is Choice Specs. So I don't know, understand why I made this play on not uh, Destiny Bonding. That was my own damn fault. And that is going to really, really screw me over later on in the game. But anyways, I am going to go for the... Um, Source Ants, as he is going to switch directly into his Ferrothorn and gets my, uh, MQ. Uh, sacking this thing now is not a good idea. He should have allowed, allowed his, um, bouquet on the die. Because he could have gotten up rocks with this Ferrothorn, uh, eventually throughout this game against maybe something like my Magirda, I guess. But, uh, he is going to now is, actually, no, he could have actually set up his Stealth Rocks against my Mega Bennett. But he's probably fearing the taunt, most likely. Uh, right here, he is going to go down to two Shadow Claws, which is awesome. He is going to switch into his um, Pelipper now to get the rain. And something else may just potentially die, because he really doesn't have much switch-ins against my Mimic... Mega... My Mimikyu. I was about to say Mega... Mega... mega, mega, mega no, he doesn't, doesn't have much switch-ins into my Mimikyu. Right here, I am going to go for my Zoo move, because something is guaranteed to die right now. Nothing state, nothing slips. It's not even this damn Pelipper. Well, actually, it does. I think most likely if he is Max Defense. But I am gonna go for the Ghost CMT, and I'm going to completely obliterate this thing. Goodbye, son. Bow. I'm kidding. Like I said, he is defensive. <laughs> so he is defensive. But he is gonna take that. Uh, I need to find a way to um, get up my uh, Self Rocks in order to kill that Pelipper permanently. Otherwise, it's gonna sub brain again, and it's going to really irritate my team. Oh man, I really wish I had my uh, Mega Bennett right now. Anyways, I am going to go straight for the Shadow Seek. I don't have much of a choice. Um, my Mimikyu's job is done here. There's not much of anything else I can set up on, <laughs> nor can my Mimikyu do real damage. Uh, <laughs> so I am gonna allow my Mimikyu to go down, unfortunately, and what I'm gonna do now is switch it to my Paladin. I really, really wish I had Sand Stream. But luckily, I do know for a fact that I can um, go for my Stealth Rocks and live any one hit he wants to go for. Even though Mega Swapper is stupidly strong, I know I can live any one hit. And the truth is, I was actually trying to go for the Earthquake right there because I wanted to kill that damn thing. But unfortunately, he is going to um, get away with uh, switching directly to his Pelipper. Had I got my Stealth Rocks right there, that would have been great. Uh, right now, he is probably not going to risk the speed tide with the um, mind gear that gets his Pelipper. It is a speed tide, but if he ha but uh, he's probably banking on me having speed investment. So what I'm gonna do right here is go for the full switch. I know for a fact he will not risk his Swampert switching into it. Um, so I'm gonna go for the full switch, predicting him to switch into something like Jirachi. And now I'm gonna do a switch directly into my opponent. And now I got him, bitch. That was supposed to be a Rick James. Um, Dave Chappelle reference, but anyways, <laughs> I am now going to <laughs> go for my Stealth Rocks. Uh, he is going to wish that it's not going to work out for him, buddy, because uh, it doesn't matter what he switches into. He switches into the Swapper, it dies. He switches into Volcanion, it dies. He switches into Pelipper, it dies. Stays in, I, he's walled. So there isn't much of anything he can do right now. Um, I am just going to go up straight for the Earth by killing something, but he is going to switch into his Pelipper, which is perfect. Because uh, that thing is going to die. It can Rain turns are almost gone. And uh, yeah, we're looking great. So Volcanion's going to take a huge ton of damage once, once it comes in. And uh, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Yep, that thing is in perfect range now to my Greninja in a gunk shot. The rain is going to be ending soon. And once that happens, my Greninja will be able to wreck shit. I'm going to switch into my Magirna though. Because Magirna's job is done. There's nothing else he can she can really do. Uh, Jirachi kills me, this Volcano definitely kills me, and the Swampert House Beast Band kills me. So, and, well, my Hippano can take on the Jirachi, and any one hit from the, uh, Swampert. So right at this point, I win. I kill the, <laughs> the freaking Volcano right here with a Gung Jack. I kill his, uh, Swampert with a Hydra Pump. I win, but unfortunately, we miss. We miss the Gung Shot, and because we miss, we lose. 
that is game. So, that is going to be the game right there done. I uh, just won this game. I just literally won. All I had to do was gunk shot this Volcanion, kill it, and then at that point, uh, he switches into what? His Jirachi? I switch it to my uh, Palahan. I go for Earthquake, and I just go keep spamming Earthquake until that Jirachi dies. He told me his moveset on his Jirachi had Moonblast, Wish, um, Wish, Protect, Moonblast, and U-Turn, I think, or Ice Punch? Ice Punch, Moonblast, so, I don't know, I don't know, some weird moveset. It, no, no, it didn't have Ice Punch, no, it had, um, U-Turn, Wish, Protect, and Moonblast, yes, that was his moveset, he told me, yes, yes, so I was correct the first time. That's his moveset, I literally just won, my Greninja just Ice Beam the Swamp Bird, or Hydra Pumped it, I know, either or, it killed it at that range, thanks to Stealth Rocks, uh, from that Psychic and the Substitute that I went for, right? I went for... Psychic on it, right? No, I didn't. Anyways, I would have won. But unfortunately, we did not win. Um, yeah. My Panon walled and shit on that Jirachi. My uh, Greninja just shit on that Swamp Bird, and my Panon could live anyone hit from the Swamp Bird and kill it with Earthquake. Uh, based on the amount of range of HP that was in, I, th I believe. Um, I think it was weakened. I believe that Swamp Bird was weakened. It should have been. Yes, yes, it was weakened from the Shadow Snake and the Substitute combination. So it was a perfect range from Earthquake from my Apalon and my uh, Ice Beam or Hydro Pump from my Greninja. I've done calcs and I actually know which one, I mean, which move was appropriate to kill it with. But unfortunately, we lost. We lost. Uh, the game was just stolen from me because of hacks. I lost, missed a gunk shot. I swear to God. Shit like this keeps happening to me. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is just more of what to come. I have lost many games to hacks, and you guys are going to be seeing that very soon, eventually, in my future Wi-Fi Bells. I thank you guys for watching. I'll be, we'll be back next time. See ya. Peace.